Hello everyone, I'm Mark Snodgrass, and today I want to talk to you about leveraging Domo's Magic ETL to aggregate and join data. Uh, it's, if you haven't used Magic ETL, it's an incredibly powerful tool and allows you to uh, combine data or uh, shift data around that you may have brought in from Domo Workbench or from third-party connectors uh, or just, ex just Excel file uploads that you may have done and uh, to kind of clean and different do aggregations they may need to do. So today I'm just going to highlight uh, group by and the join data set tiles. So I've got my at magic ETL uh, open here, which I did from going to the data center and then clicked on magic ETL. Then I want to bring in um, some data sets. And so if I drag in the input data set, then I can select my data set and I want this coverage premium data sample. And I'm also going to bring in this other one. Uh, and it should be this one here. <clears throat> so I've got two different data sets. Uh, one uh, premium, so coverage premiums for every kind of customer member uh, for each year. And then I've got uh, accompanying claims data, so each claim that uh, a member might have had for each coverage. And what we need to do is combine that data in there so we can see, uh, for instance, the total claims uh, incurred on a year for each member for each coverage type. So first way we're going to do that is to leverage the group by uh, tile. And if we just drag in group by, we're going to connect that. And it asks us what columns we want to identify the grouping with. So what we're saying here, um, and then the aggregation down here. So saying, okay, how do we want to sum this up? So we can do sums of like uh, amounts, such as like total paid or total incurred, or we could do counts, so counting the number of claims. And then how do you want to uh, count it by what breaks down your count? So for us, we're going to uh, break it down by coverage type. And we're going to break it down by um, member name and coverage year. And then say name a new aggregated column. So we're going to call this total paid, for instance. And we're going to choose the total paid column. And then we're going to say, OK, how do you want to aggregate it? I want to sum that up. So um, it's going to sum the total paid, uh, so all of those records in there for each coverage type, member name, and coverage year. So we're going to have city A and general liability and 2021 will have a total paid value. So I'm going to end up with four columns at this, at this point if I just had coverage type, member name, coverage year, and the total paid. I can add additional things aggregations that I want to. So maybe total incurred as well might be one. And I'm going to do some for that as well. And maybe just for fun, I'm going to do claim count. So it doesn't always have to be, doesn't have to be the same thing across everything. So I'm going to use the count feature and count those claims. So if we just ran this preview as it is, then you can kind of see where this is going. This is useful to kind of check your logic and what's going on. And it will produce those uh, aggregated totals for us. So if we click on the preview, you see um, workers comp, for instance, and Gower, and then our total paid, total incurred um, on here. And so that's looking pretty good. So now um, we're going to leverage the other tile I talked about, the uh, join tile. So the join tile lets you combine two different data sets uh, to bring com uh, come up with just one individual data set. So this is really useful when you've got data coming in from two different places and you need to bring it together into one card. So this lets this join tile lets you do that. And you've got different join types. And, uh, two most common, I'd say, would be the inner join and the left 
outer join. And they give you a little description what's going on here. So your inner join is going to be where you have a match between both um, data sets and uh, based off of the column matching column keys that you assign. Or the left being, I want everything, every row that's in this left table, and then anything from the right table where things match. And this might make sense when we establish how we're going to match. So how does our data align with each other? Well, we're going to do it off of that coverage type that we had um, done in this table over on this premium table. It's coverage code is what it is. And then over here, then we're also going to do member name and uh, coverage year would be the next one that we do. So this gets us because we have our data over here is already kind of one row per year per uh, coverage type, type and member. And then we're going to line that up with our claims data that is set now because of the group by the same kind of level of coverage type member and coverage year. And then down here, it's going to say, hey, we've got some column names that are the same. How do you want to fix this? So we can say auto fix right. And you have the option to drop columns or rename them. In this case, I'm going to drop it because it's really the same column name, um, same value in the other table. So I don't need it twice. So I'm just going to say drop over there. And then just kind of for um, cleanliness sakes, I'm going to use the select columns tile. And the select column tile lets you just pick which specific columns you want out of here. Um, and you can say add all columns if you want and bring that all in. And then you can uh, rename them or um, say, I don't really want this one in there anymore. Um, and we can uh, take care of that if we want to. So, um, and then the last step would be to output this data. And always good idea to, to run preview and make sure that that looks good. And also a best practice before we save and close this, but we'll just make sure this runs okay is to give a year, an output data set name that is required and also the data flow name. So we can hit preview here, make sure we got data in here, good rows, got all sorts of things that we need in here. So this is great. And you see, I've got member name twice, so I didn't really need that. So we can go back to this and, and drop one of these member names out of there. And so then this would be names, data, test. That's what we're doing today. And I always tend to give the data flow name the same name as the output data set when I've got just a singular output data set. Helps me find it uh, later in the data center. So we've got that. We can save and run. And this is just a test. I'm just going to keep that as manual in there. But once that runs, then if we hop over to one I did already, then we've got uh, an example of now here's kind of combining that data. So we have that premium data um, and we have the incurred data from the, the claims table and the coverage here. So now we've got those two things combined um, available and we could add in the uh, coverage type if we wanted to um, into this. So we have that break breakdown as well and bring that into the sorting. Things sort nicely. And you can see some, um, <clears throat> there wasn't any claim data for crime or difference in condition. So you're going to see those as, as blank, but uh, this lets you now see the coverage premium data with the, the claims data uh, on you. So that's uh, one example of how to use the group by tile and the join tile. Uh, so I encourage you to look in the knowledge base about more information on these if you need to, but this gives you a basic understanding on, on how to do that.